I saw one commentator, uh, Leo Varadkar, saying that Hillary should challenge uh, Donald Trump to lots of debates and that his ego wouldn't allow him to refuse. The, the debate, how crucial do you think the debates will be and what are the strengths of each candidate going into um, those? Well, I think the debates are always crucial in, in, in American politics. Um, Hillary actually isn't a great debater, but she's not crazy. So I imagine she would win those debates against um, against Trump quite solidly. Um uh, but they will be they will be very important. But there's more to it than that, though. Hillary has the money. Uh, Trump actually doesn't have a lot of money behind his campaign, believe it or not. Uh, she has a united party behind her. A lot of Republicans actually want Trump to lose. Uh, and um, and she has um, the experience mm-hmm. and Wall Street and all that behind her. So my, my prediction is that she will win and win comfortably. Um, not only will she carry those Rust Belt states, I think she'll actually pull off one or two surprises. Uh, Utah, which is a heavily Mormon state, a totally Republican state, does not like Donald Trump at all because they don't like <laughs> the way the way the way he behaves and his and and his his, his kind of personal yeah. issues. Okay. And then also bear in mind the states like Georgia and states like Arkansas, in which she used to be first lady, and they may become competitive. Louisiana too. So I think she'll win and win and win big actually. But the one thing that did occur to me watching the convention was this whole slogan, which is the Trump slogan, around making America great again. Like first of all, America is great. Uh, and then secondly, what is he harking back to? Is it the America in which women were supposed to stay in the kitchen, gay people were supposed to stay in the closet and black people were supposed to be on the back of the bus? Like exactly what great America is he talking about? Is it America of the 50s or 60s, which wasn't, mm-hmm. wasn't really that great? John and, and Steinberger, m- last, will you come in last, on that? The last manifestation of oh, that. Oh, I certainly will. I think because a lot of people did... One well, of the things the, we're seeing you're a speaking, by the way, uh, uh, median household income. Sorry, John. We're seeing a decline in median. Please go ahead. Um, if you just respond to what Leo Varadkar was saying there about what yes, kind of America uh, is Donald Trump harking back to? In- okay, I, um, please ask me the question and I'll answer it. Okay, when was America great? Was it when women stayed at home and gay people stayed in the closet? That's ridiculous. That, no, nobody's suggesting that. Look, look at uh, Ivanka Trump and, uh, and all the uh, executives. Trump has more female executives than male executives in his enterprise. So that's just a ridiculous assertion. America was great when uh, we had manufacturing jobs. We're losing our manufacturing jobs. When the rest of the world respects, respected us. We're losing respect from our allies and enemies alike. So we've got to bring it back. And that's what he's talking about. And Donald Trump is the man to do that? Yes, he is. He's got a great vision for the future. And he talks about putting America first, strengthening our military so nobody will, will attack us, defeating ISIS. Uh, getting Arab allies to uh, to work in the battle against Islamic terror, as well as Turkey. So these are things that uh, this administration has failed to do, and he will do it. And he'll, he'll create conditions in tax policy and regulatory policy that will bring back our manufacturing. Uh, something that uh, Hillary is for is shutting down the coal mines, which will hurt the people in Pennsylvania and Ohio and and other Rust Belt states. So bringing back the coal industry is, uh, is a big piece of this, bringing down electricity prices, which helps middle class mm-hmm. and poor families. He said a lot about what he's, he'll do. He said a lot about his negotiating skills. He hasn't been very clear, and there wasn't much detail at the convention, about how he's going to do all that. Well, first of all, regulations are just ridiculous. The EPA, our Environmental Protection Agency, creates regulations without the approval of Congress, and they've largely shut down the coal industry. Coal is our lowest-cost fuel source for generating electricity. accounts for about uh, 45% of our electrical output, so that's caused rates to go up, and it's also caused 67,000 coal miners to lose their jobs, high-paying jobs. So he'll uh, make sure the EPA uh, eases up on regulations so that we can be Productive again. That's a very important thing. And tax policy. America has the highest okay. corporate tax rate in the world, and he wants to bring the top rate from 35 percent down to 15 percent. So American corporations will come back, and and uh, the ones that are here will expand. All right. Indeed, we were talking about corporation. Tax-